together physically spiritually we are joining each other and also we would like to strengthen our faith because we believe wherever we are Jesus is with us brothers and sisters let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries you were sent to heal the contrite of heart Lord have mercy Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, who as an example of humility of the human race to follow, cause our Saviour to take flesh and submit to the cross. Graciously grant that we may hear His lesson of patient suffering, and so merit the share in His resurrection. Who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Who's reading? A reading from the prophet Isaiah. The Lord has given me a disciple's tongue so that I may know how to reply to the weary. He provides me with speech. Each morning he wakes me to hear, to listen like a disciple. The Lord has opened my ear. For my part, I made no resistance, neither did I turn away. I offered my back to those who struck me, my cheeks to those who tore my beard, did not cover my face against insult and spittle. The Lord comes to my help so that I am untouched by the insults. So too, I set my face like flint, I know I shall not be shamed. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? All who see me deride me, they curl their lips, they toss their heads. He trusted in the Lord, let him save him. Let him release him if this is his friend. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Many dogs have surrounded me, a band of the wicked beset me. They tear holes in my hands and my feet. I can count every one of my bones. My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? They divide my clothing among them, they cast lots for my robe. O oh Lord, do not leave me alone, my strength, make haste to help me. 
to assume the condition of a slave and became as men are and being as all men are he was humbler yet even to accepting death death on the cross but God raised him high and gave him the name which is above all other names so that all beings in the heavens on earth and in the underworld should bend the knee of the name of Jesus and that every tongue should acclaim Jesus Christ as Lord to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Christ became obedient for us, even unto death, dying on the cross. But God raised him on high, and gave him a name above all other names. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Jesus then was brought before the governor, and the governor put to him this question. Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus replied, It is you who say it. But when he was accused by the chief priests and the elders, he refused to answer at all. Pilate then said to him, Do you not hear how many charges they have brought against you? But to the governor's complete amazement, he offered no reply to any of the charges. At festival time, it was the governor's practice to release a prisoner for the people, anyone they chose. Now there was, at that time, a notorious prisoner whose name was Barabbas. So when the crowd gathered, Pilate said to them, Which do you want me to release for you, Barabbas or Jesus, who is called Christ? For well, Pilate knew it was out of jealousy that they had handed him over. Now, as he was seated in the chair of judgment, his wife sent him a message. Have nothing to do with that man. I have been upset all day by a dream I had about him. The chief priests and the elders, however, had persuaded the crowd to demand the release of Barabbas and the execution of Jesus. So, when the governor spoke and asked them, Which of the two do you want me to release for you? They said, Barabbas. Pilate said to them, What am I to do with Jesus who is called Christ? They all said, Let him be crucified. Pilate asked, Why? What harm has he done? But they shouted all the louder, Let, Let him be crucified. Then Pilate saw that he was making no impression, that in fact a riot was imminent. So he took some water, washed his hands in front of the crowd, and said, I am innocent of this man's blood, it is your concern. And the people, to a man, shouted back, His blood be on us and on our children. children. Then he released Barabbas for them. He ordered Jesus to be first scourged and then handed over to be crucified. The governor's soldiers took Jesus with them into the praetorium and collected the whole cohort round him. Then they stripped him and made him wear a scarlet cloak, and having twisted some thorns into a crown, they put this on his head and placed a reed in his right hand. 
To make fun of him, they knelt to him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. And they spat on him, and took the reed and struck him on the head with it. And when they had finished making fun of him, they took off the cloak and dressed him in his own clothes, and led him away to crucify him. On their way out, they came across a man from Cyrene, Simon by name, and enlisted him to carry his cross. When they had reached a place called Golgotha, that is, the place of the skull, they gave him wine to drink. When they had finished crucifying him, they shared out his clothing by casting lots, and then sat down and stayed there, keeping guard over him. Above his head was placed the charge against him, and it read, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. At the same time, two robbers were crucified with him, one on the right and one on the left. The passers-by jeered at him. They shook their heads and said, So you, you destroy, destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days? Three days? Then and save yourself. yourself. If you are if you God's son, come, come down, down from, from the cross. The chief priests with the scribes and elders mocked him in the same way, saying, He says he, he cannot, cannot save himself. He is the king of Israel. Let him come, come down from the cross now, and we will believe in him. He puts him trust in God. Now let God rescue him if he wants him. For he is a and the Son of God. Even the robbers who were crucified with him taunted him in the same way. From the sixth hour there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour. And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani. That is, my God, my God, why have you deserted me? When some of those who stood there heard this, they said, The man is calling on Elijah. And one of them quickly ran to get a sponge, which he dipped in vinegar, and putting it on a reed, gave it him to drink. The rest of them said, Wait, wait. See, Elijah will come to save him. But Jesus, again crying out in a loud voice, yielded up his spirit. Let us kneel. At that, the veil of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth quaked, the rocks were split, the tombs opened, and the bodies of many holy men rose from the dead. And these, after his resurrection, came out of the tombs, entered the holy city, and appeared to a number of people. Meanwhile, the centurion, together with the others guarding Jesus, had seen the earthquake and all that was taking place. And they were terrified and said, In truth, this was the Son of God. My dear brothers and sisters, this year we cannot celebrate Palm Sunday as usual because of the danger of spreading of the coronavirus, which has claimed many lives. Therefore, parishes call for all parishioners to be able to celebrate in their homes creatively. And one good example that I see being done by many people is that every family place palm leaves or branches at their doorsteps. This is a simple yet excellent idea. As such, they remember that the church has entered Holy Week. Besides, this simple act shows to the world that we might be isolated, but will never be separated. We remain united as members of the body of Christ, no matter where we are. Because the real church is not a church built on stones, but a church built by individuals love and serve Jesus Christ our Lord. This is the living church. This is the domestic church because it's built upon a family basis. 
Today, we are a community of sufferers, just like Jesus, our Lord, who has suffered for us. The evangelist Matthew told us that the palm leaves were hoisted by people in Jerusalem who rejoiced in welcoming Jesus, the Messiah. They cried, Hosanna, son of David. However, it is also the people who will let it cry for Jesus to be crucified at Golgotha. Our Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, experienced severe and shameful suffering, even death. However, He sacrifices Himself for the salvation of the world, for you and for me. However, this is the good news. Behind the suffering that we experience in life, there is still hope. We believe that all pain will end. Our faith shows that the death of Jesus that we will commemorate on Good Friday will bear fruit in the resurrection as we will celebrate on Easter Sunday. Therefore, faced with all the sufferings of life, let us never give up. Instead, keep firm in the faith while crying out that God is our rock. He is our hope. He will never leave us alone. He will surely come to help us. He is the faith. This is the faith that we need in our daily lives at the moment. And if we do it together, even though at home, I believe we will endure the suffering together and we will become the winners in the end of these game or the sufferings. My brothers and sisters, let's keep our faith strong and strengthen one each other, our family members, as what it should be. And therefore, let us ask God to help us also and strengthen our family. May God bless you all. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. <coughs> Our King has entered his city. Our palms and cries of homage fade away. As the words of the Gospel tell the story of his suffering and death, let us bring our prayers to the Father, through the Son he gave out for us, with love beyond our comprehension. For the Church throughout the world, that she may always proclaim the words of hope and mercy to all who are overburdened with cares. Let's pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are unjustly accused or punished, that God will give them strength to bear the injustice to which they are subjected. Let's pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For medical staff throughout the world, that they may be given strength, courage and protection during this present emergency. Let's pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's pray for the needs of each other. Let's pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, 
that they may rest in peace of the risen Christ. Let's pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now, brothers and sisters, let's pray in our hearts for our special intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord and Father, with serene courage, your Son went forth to die for us. Grant us a share in his strength. As we bring these prayers before you, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Through the earth work in human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Through the wine we work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Through the patience of your only begotten Son, O Lord, may our reconciliation with you be near at hand, so that through the we do not merit it by undeeds, yet by this sacrifice made once for all, we may feel already the effects of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit, lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God, it is right and just, it is right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For though in our Son He suffered willingly for sinners, and accepted unjust condemnation to save the guilty, His death was washed away our sins, and His resurrection has purchased our justification. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. 
Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith Save us, Savior of the world By your cross and resurrection You have set us free Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of death and resurrection We are filled with the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Anthony, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let the Savior's command and form by divine teaching we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day. grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. spirit.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But I only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Father, if this chalice cannot pass without my drinking it, your will be done. My brothers and sisters, I invite you to do the act of spiritual communion for those who cannot receive the Holy Communion physically in the church. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Nourished with the sacred gifts, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that just as through the death of your Son, you have brought us to hope for what we believe. So by his resurrection, you may lead us to where you call, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Look, we pray, O Lord, on this your family, for whom our Lord Jesus Christ did not hesitate to be delivered into the hands of the wicked and submit to the agony of the cross, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. And then, may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorify you, Lord, by your love. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Uh, before we finish, this is a little announcement for the Holy Thursday. We'll have the celebration live streaming mass at 7 p.m. Please join us. <laughs>